I'm an associate professor of Latin American history. In 2008, I was at a history conference in the city of Morelia, Michoacan, Mexico, and a cartel set off bombs in the crowd that had gathered for celebrating independence. People in Mexico thought of it as a kind of 9-11 moment, that finally other people around the world would know the kind of violence that they're living with. I decided at that point I needed to pay attention to what was happening in Mexico in the present, because Mexico has historically been one of the safest countries in the world. I was happy being a historian who worked in archives, but the present was just so much more urgent than the past, and I thought I needed to devote myself to understanding that and explaining it as best I could. I've been asked to testify for people seeking asylum. I participated in this first asylum case, and the attorney called me on the way home and said, you won't believe it, but the judge granted asylum. I, I surprised myself, but I got kind of emotional about that. I, it, and I'd never had that feeling before, where it's something that I could do that I think of as my academic work could change people's lives so directly. And now after working on about 300 cases, my role in immigration court is to really help the judge understand the complicated, evolving, dynamic context in which people are fleeing for their lives for different reasons. I have over 100 open cases right now. I use the methodologies of historians of reading primary texts and, and interviewing people, relying on primary sources to make an analysis of what's happening. And instead of doing that for people who lived 100, 150 years ago, I'm doing, it, doing that for people who are living right now. I have an opportunity because of, I'm privileged to have this position that I can help the courts understand a really complicated and, and difficult context, then I really think I have an obligation to do that.